Hey guys, it's Lauren Lynn. Um, I'm doing just a random, like, kind of, uh, I guess, rant, I need advice, give me advice type of video. I'm a very, I'm, I am in an emotional state today. I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm figuring hopefully in a couple of days I'll start to mother nature and why I'm so emotional, but um, I still can't get past some emotions I have uh, going on right now. Um, I just got out of like a serious relationship. Um, I don't play house, but um, we did live together. Um, I was very open to a serious relationship. Well, I've always been open to a serious relationship. That's I don't ever want to be in a relationship just to be in a relationship. I want goals in the relationship. And um, I was dating an older girl. And um, it didn't work out, apparently. But um, it... <sighs> I didn't even want to be with this person in the beginning. I did not want to be with this person, anything to do with them or whatever, but they like stood by me through everything I was going through because I was going through something. I was kind of slightly depressed and all that kind of good stuff. And they were like a shoulder kind of to lean on to be a friend to and to listen to me and to understand where I'm coming from and still keep their distance because I wasn't ready for a relationship. And she said she was patient or whatnot. And um, that was that was amazing to have a person like that, and this person was amazing. And then when it got towards the end of the relationship, it just got really fucked up. And I don't even know how I'm still trying to be friends with this person. But um, basically, at the end of this year, a lot of shit just it was just all fucked up. Like, excuse my language, but it's just all fucked up at the beginning of this year female friends acting all fucking crazy and then a person that I, I, a shoulder I need I need to lean on um during the time wasn't wasn't really there um I had a good friend that had passed away when she wasn't there like it was just really bad it was really fucked up and um I, I slightly a small percentage understand because she, she told me why but I slightly understand because I was upset when it happened to me and um I understood, but at the same time, it, it still doesn't excuse how she acted, and, um, she, it's just, a lot of things happen, it seemed like she might have been cheating on me in a relationship, or whatever the case, and then all this other stuff happened, whatever, so all that happened, and I'm just like, are you serious, so I was just very angry, I was, I've never been so fucking angry, I'm sorry. I haven't been so angry in my life. Never been that angry. Never, ever, ever been that angry in my life. And um, I'm obviously I'm still not over it, and I'm I've been trying, but it's like, um, uh, it takes. I guess it just it takes time. It's like how much more time is it gonna take. <laughs> It's June and I feel like this is February and um not even fully but uh after all of it happened everything happened uh I um I just kept my distance and it was some things we had to take care of for us to be just to go our separate ways because uh, we had ties together and whatnot we lived together and all that stuff so um I was like we just need to get these few things done and then we can go our separate ways I told her and um we were in the works of that and whatnot and then one day like she said started trying to call me started trying to like facetime me can I see Queenie Queenie's my dog we got we bought each other dogs for Christmas and um she has a dog and I have a dog and she's like oh can I see Queenie it's like really whatever she wants to facetime me so that night came and um, she's like, why is it like the way it is or whatever? And um, I confronted her because what was displayed in front of me seemed as though she was cheating on me. She didn't give a fuck. It was then she didn't truly give a fuck, even though even if she didn't see it. But um, she was very apologetic and whatnot that happened. But um, I was still kind of angry. I was so upset. And I was like, um, it's, it's gonna be a process like if you really want to be my friend and I, I did say I didn't want a relationship as I don't need, I don't think I need one it'll be a distraction for me right now um and things I want to do with this emotional state state I'm in is a distraction but um so that happened then we kind of like 
started she she was my hookup buddy basically um and we still like kind of did some sort of relationship things or whatever but i would snap on her i would really snap on her because it kind of scarred me what happened and i was very upset like i was very upset i was i was like bipolar almost because it just happened i get really mad real quick about something small because it basically she lost my trust and um when you lose my trust it's kind of hard to come back from that and um that happened or whatever and i was just like i need to just get over it i just get over it um i i wanted to have her in my life still because she's helped me so much with things that um I didn't believe in like in myself I like confidence in myself like I, when I when I went into a depressed state in my life um like two years ago I um I just like I started giving up on myself and she kind of helped pick me up a bit and um realize my potential and it's like um why would I want to lose that person that just helped me realize all that stuff but you know some people are there just for a season and um I think that was her season I think her season needs to end and I'm trying to hold on to her still and basically all that happened i was going bipolar on her and whatnot and um then she just started to stop caring it seemed like and she was like well i feel like i've tried blah 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 and um i was like you didn't fucking try yo like i don't i'm sorry i am when i'm in a relationship i'm in it like if it's some fucked up shit happening or whatever if i do some fucked up shit or whatever the case is i'm gonna try my goddamn darnest to keep this relationship going because that's just who i am like because once once a person enters in my life and i start caring about them and i gain emotions for them and i understand them i feel like i can be there for them i'm gonna love you so fucking hard like i'm gonna love you so 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 freaking hard it, it like so hard like, you don't understand like i'm a i'm a gemini and we love very strong we're very loving people and um people call us bipolar or whatever whatever all that stuff it was it, it's kind of true but it's not true at the same time but i kind of got bipolar on her when i stopped trusting her because she lost my trust and um i was like i just gotta get over it so i was like okay i'm over it and um then she's like no i want to be distant from me i really want to be your friend i want to be your friend whatever we stop doing some stuff sex or whatever and um i just i i, I just i feel like i couldn't handle the friendship anymore uh basically just to cut up and get away from some stuff but um a couple like maybe a month ago i was like i just told her like i just feel like you don't give a fuck and that's not okay with me. Even if you're my friend, I should know that you're my friend. And I should feel that you care about what I'm saying and about what I'm doing and about my well-being of my life. Just like I, I should be about you. A friend is there for you whenever you need them. And um, it was like the care went from here all the way down. You can't even see my fucking hand because that's how much care it, it did not, I did not sense or feel. And I should have a sense of feel feeling, you know, um when someone cares and I had I got emotional I was like how would you feel if I just I just stopped being a friend or whatever and she's like you don't person to talk to um I, I, I want you in my life whatever whatever the duh and um she's like it's okay I'll be okay or whatever she got emotional or whatnot and um but I still even after that letting out how I felt or whatever like I, I don't think I could be friends with you or whatever I was like, I'm going to try. I still kept saying I'm going to try. And I'm that person. I'm going to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. That, that's just the type of person I am. I'm going to keep trying because I care. But I'm, I feel like I'm at the state now where I, I'm just, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Like, I'm just so tired. I'm not looking for her to treat me like I'm her girlfriend, but... I'm looking, if, if you want to be my friend, you still, it's still, I still matter, you know? When you have friends, especially if you don't have any friends at all, then I still matter. I, I barely, I don't even have, I, I, I'm claiming that I don't have friends. I truly don't. I don't hang out with anybody or nothing like that. I'm a little fucking loner. And I've never been in that position before to be so lonely. And, um, it's, it's uncomfortable for me. I don't like it. I feel... I just, I don't even really know how I feel because I've never been this lonely before. I, I haven't not been in a relationship. Like, there hasn't been a long period of me not being in a relationship. If I, if, not if, I am 
choosing not to be in a relationship for a year because I've never ever did it before. Um, there was still some type of relationship, whether it was a title or not or whatever, someone I was talking to, whatever the case. And um, I'm doing that, and I, I think I need to let this this person go. Like, I need to just let let her go because she still has a hold on to me. And I, I don't play house with people. I don't give people my heart like, here you go. You just take care of it. We'll be good. I don't do that. And I feel like she still has attachment to it. Because I was just on the phone with her. And I was like, hey. I haven't talked to you whatever in like days. And it. That, that bothered me or whatever. No text. No hey. How you doing? How your day? Whatever. I like friends that I do. I don't. I'm claiming not to have friends. But I only have one person that I kind of do talk to. It's, I've known her since high school or whatever. But. I talk to her pretty much every other day, um, just about, like, you know, you have those, you have friends that say they care and all that, whatever, whatever, you talk to them still, and I ain't talk to her, she ain't text me, no call, no nothing, she's like, oh, I just wanted to call and hear your voice or whatever, and I'm trying not to call, I, I didn't call her for a reason, because I feel like I'm doing so much work, I just like, let me stop doing what I'm doing. And um, let her do her thing or whatever. And then, I mean, if it's supposed to happen, it's supposed to happen. Us being friends or whatever. I'm just going to put a halt to it, I think. And stop being her friend. Get these ties done that we have with each other. And go our separate ways. Um, end it on kind of a peaceful note. Even though I'll still be very emotional. Because I don't know when I'll get over how I feel. I don't. I really don't. I really don't. Like, I did not want, it's just crazy to me because I did not want this person. When I tell you I didn't want this person, I did not want this person. I told her, I was very serious with her in the beginning, like, I don't want a girlfriend, I'm not looking for nobody, I don't want you, blah, blah, blah. I was very blunt, I'm very blunt, very honest. And to now I'm at this state where it's like, I don't want to let this person go, but I'm going to have to let her go. But, um, that's all I want to talk about, I just had to get it out before... I go to the gym or whatnot because I was going to the gym. I just I got emotional because it's like it's so fucked up. You don't care, yo. Like you don't care at all. Let's take it. My phone is like dying. <laughs> but um, it's like you don't care. Like you don't care. I can sense the oh I'm busy. Blah blah blah. I get you busy. Like when I tell you I used to be busy. She saw she busy or whatever. I try when I. I tried, no matter what I did, I tried, I called her, texted her, emailed her, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, no matter what the fuck it was, I would still reach out, because that's the person I am. Even if I'm in a relationship, I'll try to do it with my other friends still anyways. Reach out, talk to them, hey, what's up? But, I don't get that same response, and I think that's a sign. Definitely was a sign probably long ago, but I just need to actually do it. So, just, you know, like... I guess when you when you know, in a serious relationship and it didn't work out or whatever, I, I advise not to try to be friends. I really tried. Some people can do it, excuse me. Some people can do it, some people can't. And I don't feel like I can because I'm just too emotional. I have too, emotion, too many emotions, you know. And um, those emotions can't stay in a friendship. You can't be in a relationship because you're not a relationship with a person no more. So... I'm going to have to let her go. I'll call it a day, but that's all I want to say and talk about. I had to get that out, so I'll probably cry a little more <laughs> when I'm done with this video. I just need to let it out. <sighs> and I've been holding it. I just need to let it all out. But um, follow me on my Facebook, um, Lauren Lynn Health and Nutrition, my Instagram. That is a chic Lauren Lynn and the Lauren Lynn Health page. I do want to change my name on Instagram. I just don't know too what because it seems very long. I do want Lauren Lynn in it, but if that doesn't work, then it's cool. But there's so many Lauren Lynn's and Lauren's out there, it's be hard. But I'll see you guys on another rant video another day. Follow my three week journey to fitness and toning and all that kind of stuff. And look at my other videos. But peace, love, happiness, love, and support. Thanks for watching my rant video. Bye, guys.